Traveling for Pleasure Olentangy River through a green wall of woods Beyond my window, motionless, two mallards glide with the current. I always misunderstood the floating world. I thought it meant the whole boatload of illusion, not just the one that went from Tokyo to Pleasure Town, orange rinds and lettuce rolling in the backwash, underfoot the wooden deck a little shredded, like the Philadelphia Camden Ferry we rode across the Delaware heading for Ocean City, the ghost of Whitman smiling beside us on the way back from symphony or opera he loved so much to the row house of his old age in Mickle Street, not far from the wide river, but narrow as a single bed. Though we'd never heard of him then, that last summer of high school, last summer of the war. Ocean City of love and a few black sorrows, news glancing off us of friends a little older, training to be killed while we inhaled a dozen sweet perfumes, salt air, sun-baked wood, beach towels, cocoa butter on smooth skin, cool sand under the boardwalk, night fragrances of freshly shampooed hair, all staying somewhere in the brain for life. To bring back at a chance decades later some moment of pleasure flooding in against time and again can't last but now ebb slowly in a long, sweet tide, like music that seems to end, but goes on, then on again, like the last notes of death and transfiguration. After dinner and a walk, coming up a street from the twilight beach, smiling with Charlotte and Kathy and the street lamp glint on everyone's hair, we were happy though we didn't know how much was chance and how much was us.